Common Core Math. There was a time where I hated Common Core Math. As a parent, I used to see my son struggle with Common Core Math and used to think to myself, why are they teaching them this? Like, just teach them the basic way to do the math equation. But as a teacher, I have a different thought process about it. I see the benefits of Common Core Math. See, as a parent, I thought that Common Core was too difficult for my child and he should really just teach them the basic way to do it. But what Common Core really does is it prepares our children to understand the math problem and how they got to the answer. So what they do is they present multiple ways and multiple strategies for your child to solve a math equation. See, the math that we learned was pretty basic. But, you know, a lot of times we get to the upper grades and we don't do that well in math because we didn't develop a math brain or uh, develop appropriate math thinking. So we were able to solve basic equations because of memorization, but it was hard for us to uh, show our work or, un or explain how we got to the answer. But with Common Core Math, it encourages the students to explain how they came to an answer. So what we do as teachers, and I'm a teacher now, is that we present multiple strategies for our students to learn a math equation. What that allows the student to do is develop mathematical thinking and understanding on how to solve an equation. So we all Common Core really is, is a, a avenue of teaching your students multiple strategies to get to an answer. See, the misconception of Common Core is that if we give a test, they have to be and they have to be able to answer it in a way that uh, Common Core expects them to answer it. Really, all they have to do is show their work, show that they understand the problem, and they'll get credit for the, the, the answer. They'll get credit for it. As long as they get it right, and they show their work and show understanding of the math equation, they'll get it right. And using one of the strategies taught. So your student is taught multiple strategies. They really only have to choose one strategy to do the math. So math is difficult. It's difficult for a lot of people, but Common Core sets up our students to learn mathematical thinking so that by the time they're in the 6th grade, 9th uh, grade, 12th grade, and off to college, they are prepared to do the, that, that grade level math because they have mathematical thinking. So if we can get our students to develop mathematical thinking from the time they're in kindergarten all the way up until college, they will be better off. That's what Common Core is all about. It's not telling your students that they have to do math this way. It's teaching them a strategy that they can use to develop mathematical thinking and to solve a math equation. That's it. That's all. So I know parents, we were up in arms about Common Core. And actually, Common Core may be done away with in a little while. Um, uh, that's what I, I've read a couple of months ago. Uh, and, or they're making revisions and modifications to what state standards are but it really is a, a benefit to your child because it gives your child an opportunity to learn mathematical thinking so please don't get frustrated with common core because you don't understand it if you really want to help your child speak to your teacher speak to the admin at your school and ask them to to do workshops so that it will help you learn some of the Common Core strategies so that you can help your child at home. Okay? So, let's, you know, ease off a little bit about Common Core and, and let's relax a little bit and let's look at the benefit of it. And the benefit is your child will develop mathematical thinking. All right? God bless. I hope this video was enriching to you. If you like this video, please share it. And uh, hit the subscribe button, which would be somewhere down below. And then after you hit the subscribe button, click the bell so it'll notify you when I upload more videos. All right. Peace out.